right, that right there is the Braptor. Now, Connor, the co-op kid, and I, we had a bit of a struggle today uh, digging that sucker out of the snowbank. It's been sitting, I haven't even touched it all winter yet. It was frozen, uh, stiff in the snow pile, so we managed to get it running. I had an issue. We got some water in the fuel, so I had to drain that out and uh, whatnot to get her going, but we managed to get it out. We got it in the shop. It's thawing out, so let's take a tour. This here started life originally as a pretty mint rx1 yamaha i think it was a 2004 i took apart and uh, used to create this awesome uh, piece of machinery now i do have wheels on it right now uh originally that's what we're going to be doing is swapping the skis back onto it that i originally put on now i had the wheels on it because uh, hey we got a radiator on there you can drive this thing in the summertime too, so that's why the wheels are on. It took them off an old uh, uh, for Yamaha uh, uh, Trimoto or something. I forget what the what it was. I took those off of, but uh, yeah, we've got the uh, 133 track off a of Polaris uh, Classic there. So I figured uh, we could uh, drive this winter and summer. All right. So like I said, it is an RX1 carbureted Yamaha four-stroke four-cylinder. Um, I did, I did, got a turbo on there. Buddy of mine gave me this one. Uh, it's off a of Ford EcoBoost. We used it because we wanted to use it full mo go. <laughs> Running about 10 pounds of boost on it right now. And uh, I got a rad out of a street bike on it with the two fans, fuel cell. I got the uh, air motive, uh, fuel pressure regulator. I built this uh, intercooler, just ordered from Vibrant, the uh, core, and then I had some aluminum, so I made the uh, tanks, and then I, you know, put all the ends on for the carburetors, and I got my pilot tubes for the air coming out of there to charge the carburetors and whatnot. I got the blow-off valve on there. made the uh, custom double-barrel shotgun exhaust on her. I like that. I think that's my favorite part there, but uh, yeah. Turned out pretty good, you know. I destroyed a perfectly good snowmobile to create it. <laughs> so, whatever. Everybody can own an RX-1. There's only one of these. So, and it's mine. So, uh, yeah, it uh, was a little sketchy. We I had it done last year. We took it to uh, Pleasant Point, the family day. They had the radar runs. And uh, did a 91 mile an hour down the track there, but... I didn't have a sway bar hooked up on it at the time, and she was pretty sketchy, you know. You, a tweak of the uh, steering, and she would nosedive one way or the other, so it was uh, uh, a little bit terrifying that way. So when I got back, I uh, peeled the sway bar of an old uh, Wildcat, I think it was. It actually worked out perfect for the lengthwise, because the Yamaha, these are the RX-1 control arms, already had a spot for the sway bar links there, so... Everything from the Arctic Cat uh, lengthwise worked out like perfect. I just had some more tubing, welded a couple of braces, put it across. Problem solved. So I haven't really tried it since then. So we might try that out now. Now that it's more stable, I think we can get some more speed out of her. But before, you know, the butthole was puckering. You don't really want to do too much. This thing, it's made out of... The boys at Allfab gave me all this uh, water pipe. It's one inch water pipe, so she's a uh, pretty thick wall, pretty heavy. I haven't weighed it yet, but I'm gonna guess it's north of 800 pounds, this thing. Might even be 1,000 pounds, I don't know. She's got a lot going on. Uh, just using the stock Yamaha clutches, but because you're sitting in it, your arm's right here hanging out onto that, if you grenaded a belt or a clutch came apart, you'd be uh, just like uh, Harrison Ford looking for the guy, the one-armed guy, you know, because <laughs> he'd lose an arm on that pretty quick. The seats, uh, go-kart seat out of, uh, uh, where did I get that from? Uh, Princess Auto. Not even bolted in, it just... Uh, just slides in there. I was walking through Princess Auto one day and I looked up on the shelf and I saw that sitting up there and I thought You know what? That might just fit in there So I took it home. It was like on sale for I don't know 70 bucks or something like that 
I had the chassis built. I brought this thing in. And it drops right in. It's like a perfect fit. It was meant to be. So I got the clutch case. I don't know where I found that. That was in the scrap pile. Looked cool, so I put it on. Got all the aluminum sheeting from the AllFab guys, you know. Got the LED light bar going on. Got the Yamaha cluster on there. We got the boost gauge, AFR gauge, fuel pump, ignition. Well, everything's all hooked up. She works good. Still have the park and brake. You know, it's a, it's a marvel of engineering, gotta say. So, I don't know. We'll uh, take her for a rep. You know, we'll get the... Uh, Get the wheels off, put the skis on, take her for a ride, and uh, see how she goes. I might have to uh, drain and fill the fuel again one more time. There was quite a bit of water in there, which is no good for the engine, but uh, hey, it happens. Now this thing has, like I said, been sitting all winter so far. I haven't uh, had it running much at all, so just to... Uh, check and see we got fuel pump she's working kill switch up The Raptor is now in its winter stage. <laughs> Skis back on. So I think we could uh, try and take it for a test drive and see if that sway bar helps out, keeps it a little bit more stable. We got a ton of snow out there. So I don't know how it's going to be going through the uh, snow. This thing's heavy. It, you know, finds bottom like the Titanic. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Here we go. 
words, Launchpad. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah, you're gonna. He wants to try the Raptor. Hopefully, it's uh, not the end of our buddy uh, Ian here, but uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a takes a little bit uh, getting used to how it handles, and it's not running the greatest. It's a little sputtery right now, but hey, why not give her a go? So we just need kill switch up, fuel on. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. talk it down too much. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh yeah? I like it. You like it? It didn't like it it rocks you around but it doesn't feel like it's actually going over. <laughs> I, had to, I mean I wasn't going fast. I had to get a yeah. feel for it because that turbo does take takes a little bit. Really, but then it kicks in. Yeah. A little bit of lag but uh I'll try again, turn it around and then uh, I'll get a shot of you ripping away from us down the strip here. He's trying to lean. <laughs> oh, that was three wheels in there. <laughs> He's gotten wound out there. Can't even see it, just a tsunami of snow. <laughs> What do you think of it? It's interesting. <laughs> Ian's in love. Oh, you can see it. He's just giving her. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> and actually. I just after, just before it let off a split second, it seemed to like kick in a little bit more. <laughs> a lot more to give, I think. Oh, well, well, and it's running 10 pounds of boost right now, I think. I was running 20 before, but yeah. I didn't have the engine built for that kind of boost. But it ran better with 20 pounds of boost than it is with 10. I don't know, Peter. I think you're, I think you're downplaying this a little bit myself. <laughs> you want it, eh? Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> I saw you were, when you were looping around here, you're leaning, and it's like, hey, there's, there's nowhere to lean, man, you're sitting in it. <laughs> yeah. well, I was, uh, used to it. <laughs> it's weird, though, because it feels like it's going to tip right over. I did, although I didn't feel, t I mean, I could see it go, there's a couple of times I thought, okay, better. Oh, yeah, you were popping one ski off the ground a couple of times. But it there. didn't feel too nerve-wracking. I feel worse, like on Darren's, I feel worse, to be honest. Really? A couple times, because it just seemed to dip, it just seemed to catch. 
I almost, it almost seems like, I don't want to add any more weight to this thing, but it's almost like we need a uh, top hoop, just in case it does. Well, that's what I would say. If you wanted to really go crazy, like if you built a full roll cage, then you could say to hell with it, and let's just see what happens. <laughs> yeah, just, just send it. <laughs> so, maybe attach the seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe throw a couple of bolts in there. <laughs> All right, so launch pad gives it a thumbs up. Nice one. Well, we're back from ripping over at Ian's next door there, and uh, I gotta say it was a successful test drive. Nothing broke or anything. Uh, it's not running quite uh, as good as it used to be. Uh, originally, I did have a different uh, spring in the wastegate there. It was running uh, closer to 20 pounds of boost. I changed it and dropped it down to 10, but it ran a lot better at the 20 pounds, so I might just put that back in, but... Uh, I don't know if we left any snow over at Ian's. This thing just fills right up. It gets all over you. But uh, Ian just loved it. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to get out of it. But uh, nobody died. It's a little tippy. Um, when he was giving her and shutting it down, you could see it. It was still kind of rock. And when he was on the brakes, the, the arse end of it was just kind of swaying. So we may have to put the hoop on it. Better safe than sorry. I was tempted with tearing this apart and building a different version, a newer version, maybe using the aluminum tube for the chassis to lighten it up. I'm gonna see if I can rig the crane scale up to weigh this thing, because I really want to know how heavy it is. But uh, Ian's quite pumped, he likes it, so we might just tear it apart and make a lighter version of it. It's pretty cool looking, you know, I think so. All right, well, thanks for tuning in to this episode and checking out the uh, the Raptor there. We had a little bit of fun. We'll probably do some things uh, a little bit different in the future on it. But, uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bell on, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this thing. Take it easy.